Addressing this year's Eid celebration at the premises of the Ghana Broadcasting Corporation GBC, President Zakufado says the peaceful coexistence between Christians and Muslims over the years should not be disrupted for the peace of the country. Nana Kufado says government will do all it can to address the issue. Authorities of the Wesley Girls Senior High School have come under fire from some Muslim leaders over its decision not to allow Muslim students to fast during the Ramadan period. An intervention by the Ghana Education Service to resolve the matter proved futile. President Akufado says religious intolerance should not be allowed in schools. Throughout the years, the schools have by and large managed to find a reasonable balanced atmosphere to enable our young people to flourish. And this has served us well. The schools have evolved and adapted their practices to suit the times. And I would urge that we do not turn them into the places to fight ideological and religious battles. Parents certainly must have a keen interest in the schools into whose care entrust their children. But may I plead with all of us that we keep the tolerance that has served us so well in matters of religion. I'm happy to state that in the specific case of the incident at one of our greatest schools, Wesley Girls High School, which has given rise to the recent discourse on religion, the authorities, that is the Ministry of Education under its new minister, the Honorable Dr. Yao Edutu, Member of Parliament for Busumche, the leaders of the Christian and Muslim communities, and the leadership of the school are engaged in solemn discussions about the way forward. And I'm very hopeful that a satisfactory solution will be found for one and all. The National Chief Imam Sheikh Osman Nuhu Sharabutu on his part assured the President and the nation that the Muslim community will not do anything to breach the peace of Ghana. As peaceful Muslims and law-abiding citizens, led by our national peace hero, National Chief Imam, we seek not to do anything to disturb the peace of the country. Suffice it to say, our interfaith harmony and solidarity has suffered a major setback by the recent media altercations on the religious freedom and justice. We wish to assure you and everybody, Your Excellency, that Muslim Ummah in Ghana, under the able leadership of the meek and peace-loving National Chief Imam, whose spirit and predisposition gives indication unequivocally that his preferred choice all the time is peace. We will cooperate in any step and measure taken by all stakeholders and authorities and state authorities to bring finality to the misunderstanding.